Hey there guys and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Lagaya. My name is Rabbit and off camera, following the conclusion of our previous episode, I managed to bring Vaughn up to level 6. I decided not to continue training to get him to level 7 just because I am lazy. And then outside of leveling Vaughn, I did manage to get Gimard to level 4. So he is looking great and sitting pretty and just to throw it out there his additional effect of lowering the target's attack damage did not change further so it's still at what it was when he hit level three and it lowers the attack by i believe it is five percent so without further ado let's keep on going i already rested i saved so all we really have left to do is come over here to this left hand door and as you can see upon entering there is someone in this cage from its clothes, this Seru seems to have been one of the royal family. Very interesting. Vaughn, I have a feeling this Seru is King Drake, says Maida. Look, there's a small key around its neck. That must be the key to the water gate. Perhaps. So anyway, let's open this chest, and a letter in the treasure chest says, To the human traveler that finds this, do you wish to read it? We absolutely do. I'm going to just give you guys the heads up that this shit scrolls so fast, so I will do my best to read everything it says, but I may not be able to once we get to the end, so you'll have to probably pause and read everything yourself. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I am Drake the Third, King of Drake. I know not who will read this letter, but anyone who makes it through the mist must have powers greater than the mist. No doubt you have seen the Seru monsters in this castle's dungeons. Those monsters are in fact my dear retainers and the people of my kingdom. When the mist approached, we tried many ways to drive it back. We even prayed at the Genesis tree of Mount Rikuroa to the north. Legend says the tree has the power to save the human race. In the end, we decided to lock ourselves in the dungeon and wear Seru, surrendering to the mist. As Seru monsters, we should survive on Drake water until the day the mist goes away. We locked ourselves in the dungeon so the Seru madness would not force us to harm anyone. So Traveler, I ask you to drive away the mist as we were powerless to do so. You are our only hope for the future, the hope that sustains us. Oh yeah, I'm the fucking best. I can't can't believe I managed to <laughs> fucking rush through that. I don't know why that shit scrolls so fast, but it does. So anyway, we managed to get through it and Vaughn puts the letter back. And so with that being done, let's run over here to this sparkling case, which says it contains the mountain key. Obviously, we do wish to open this case up. And Vaughn now has the mountain key. So we're done here. Sorry, King. This is all I can do for you. And we're pretty much done here. Again, if you want, you are welcome to use this opportunity to level up to seven. I think seven is probably a good place to be, but like I noted, I am super lazy, so it's not happening. All right, just to show you guys, this might be a waste of mana, but whatever. I want to summon Gimard so you can see that additional effect that I have been talking about since the end of our previous episode. Come on, guard, show them what you're made of. Magic effect, targets attack down 5%. So Gamard is getting more and more powerful. I'm pretty pleased with where he's at. And then the last thing for me to show to you guys, and I don't need to spirit in order to do this, will be Tornado Flame, which is the hyper art ability that we got from Fire Book 1 at the end of our previous episode. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> And Gimard is donezo. Perfect. <laughs> and that's more gold and more XP for us, so I cannot complain. We're at something like 400, maybe close to 450 gold. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes me a happy camper. Vaughn inserted the mountain key into the keyhole. The mountain gate opened. And that's pretty much the extent of Drake Castle, you guys. So like I noted, an episode or two ago. I don't think Drake Castle is that bad. But for sure, if you don't know what to look for or what to do, I can see how it could be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But either way, we managed to get through, so just follow the path here. Oh goodness, an evil flying Gobu Gobu. These things should really not be a problem, so I'm just going to mindlessly auto-attack my way through. Okay, Vaughn, really? <laughs> Maybe that was not the best choice. I just get lazy, especially with these little easy folks here. But I don't like messing around with these butterfly moth things. I don't know if it's the evil flies that do it, but they can poison you. It's one of these moth-like monsters that we run into. 
It happened to me when I was grinding outside of Rim Elm so that I could afford one of the extra pieces of armor that I ended up picking up. Okay, but perfect. They are gone. More XP and a little bit more gold. Love it. Well, hopefully we'll have no more interruptions because we are ready to head over here to this mountain pass. Vaughn, I sense the presence of a Rosaru like me. Let's hurry to the top of the mountain. Our friends, our friends must be there. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. You are finally going to meet my favorite character, not only in this game, but one of my top favorite female protagonists in almost every single game I've ever played. I am so in love with this girl. Her name by default is Noah, and as always, I don't change the names typically to characters in video games that I play. So we're just going to keep it as the default, which I really like anyway. Noah, Noah, where are you? Your mother needs you. Noah, it's so dark here, Noah. Noah, I want to see you. I need you, Noah. Wake up, Noah. You can't sleep forever. It's time to get up. Noah, you looked like you were having a bad dream. I would say it wasn't a horrible dream, like it wasn't a nightmare, but that's not the most pleasant of dreams. So we'll just say yes, we were having a bad dream. Yes, well, you should always remember your dreams, no matter how painful. Dreams tell you about the future. All right then, time for practice. Come with me. So if you want to, you have the opportunity to save again, which I guess we can. I had just saved in Drake Castle, but you guys know how it goes with me. <laughs> so similarly to what I did with my walkthrough for Star Ocean The Second Story, I'm alternating saves just to cover my ass. And just to show you guys, the faces change from save to save. So there's Vaughn, there's Noah, there's another character whose name I will not mention just to avoid spoilers. And just to quickly show you, because I think this is super adorable, that they do this. Like, how cute is that, you guys? And most of these will be recognizable later on. But I do still want to let you take a peeky peek at how cool these little save boxes are. But anyway, going to alternate, so I'm going to save over this. Okay, perfect. Save successful. And I love controlling Noah. I wish you could do it more often. Make it snappy. Noah, I have much to teach you. Now, follow me. All right, Betch, let's go. So let's follow this wolfy wolf. Where did you go? Ah, there you are. Noah, I have taught you much, but I wonder if it is sinking in. So now it's time for a test. The first question is, when the mist is around you, which is the combination that results in chaos? So, I mean, you guys should know the answers to all of these by now, so I'm just gonna kind of like rush through this. The first answer for question number one should be Seru and human, which is right here. Good, woohoo! A Seru touched by the mist begins to act on its own and possess the human that uses it. So you must be careful. Noah, I will leave you. I will be waiting up ahead. Great. Fabulous. So just run around and like do some little peeky peeks. There are some treasures that are stashed, but I don't think we'll encounter one until after we answer the second question. And I think after the third one is another one. But I still like to check just in case. Now for the second test. Listen carefully. What is it that, when it is revived, uses powers from another world to push back the mist? So you guys, come on. How easy can this really be? Obviously, the answer is a Genesis tree. That's right, Noah. Woohoo! Soon you will be entrusted with the reviving of the Genesis tree. How soon that day comes depends entirely on you. All right. And 
My memory is great. Here is a healing shroom. And we should have another one after we answer, answer. That is question number three. But I'm still going to illuminate the corners here with Noah's body just to be 100%. All right, here we go. Now for the last question, listen very carefully. Which Genesis tree is closest to us? <laughs> so we've seen this name quite a few times as well. And I even mentioned that I thought it personally was a bit of a tongue twister. So I know the answer, but I can see this one being the only one maybe some people might, might mess up. But it is Mount Rikuroa. Correct. It's the Genesis tree at Mount Rikuroa. Mount Rikuroa is located south of this cave. Although now we are trapped inside Snowdrift Cave, someday, someday, the day will come when you and I will go to Mount Rikuroa together. Noah, I look forward to that day with eagerness. Now, come with me. After using the mind, it's time to use the body. Time for training. <laughs> so there should be another shroom. Yes, here it is. So we have our second healing shroom. And let's just run down. Same deal as before. Listen to me, Noah. Now we're going to practice fighting. As I've always said, never get careless during practice or you'll get hurt. Touch the red Piura or the black Piura sticking out of those holes to start fighting. If you're not confident, fight the red Piura. If you're confident, fight the black Piura. Ready, Noah? Begin. So we are going to do a little bit of training, which doesn't sound the most exciting, but I think it's important to do. So let's run over here to the left to grab another healing shroom. And I'm trying to think what order I want to actually do this because mm, there are a few ways you can approach this. I think what I am going to opt to do is I will fight the red ones first and we'll learn a lot of Noah's arts and then we'll probably stop by fighting the black ones. I think that's going to be our best bet. But before we go ahead and do that, as you can see, we are at level one. So this is very important for you to do. I do want to take a quick moment just to show you some of Noah's stats here. I don't know if any of you really care about that sort of information, but I like to go ahead and throw it up on the screen, especially when we're just starting out with a new character, just so that you can see. So let's go ahead, no more babbling, and let's start with a red Pyora. And you'll get to see her in battle as well. I love her animations. I love the attacks that she gets. I just think she is super adorable. So we're gonna start with a spirit, get wrecked. And in case you guys haven't noticed already, as strange as this is with the translation that did occur, they never ever changed the, oh, I guess I can, hmm. You know what, I'm just going to leave it like this for now because I do wanna show you the individual hyper arts as we learn them. Kind of, I guess, an oversight on my behalf to even spirit, but. But anyway, as you've probably been able to tell, they still use the Japanese audio, which doesn't really bother me, but I always thought it was kind of weird that they translated everything. And the localization, in my opinion, is pretty good. But then they left Japanese audio for the combat. Kind of strange, I think, but it's fine. Anyway, that's two down. Let's do another one. So let's do right, low, right, and then whatever, we'll just go right again. Perfect. This thing should die. Okay, I was getting ready to say. So that's three that we've got under our belts, and we have quite a few more to learn. And that's when I should start spiriting, honestly, so there wasn't a need for me to open with the spirit. But he is dead. That guy is Dunzo. Aha, so you are injured. Hold still while I lick your wounds. <laughs> Amazing, so HP and MP are completely restored. Noah, you still seem to have some energy left. Now then, on with the training, which we will absolutely do. So let's come over here, fight another red one, learn a few more abilities, or arts I should say, and then we will call this an episode. So same deal, let's see, we did right, low, right last time. So let's do right, hmm, left, 
low, and then low. That should be one. Perfect. She is just so lively and adorable. And you guys will really see why I'm so smitten by her as we continue on with the story. But okay, let's go right, right, hmm, up, up, or high, high. Perfect. And one more. Oh, he's dead. I was thinking we'd have to go through one more ability, but no biggie. So guys, we will go ahead and part ways here. And when we come back together in our next episode, we shall continue tackling the red puras because they are significantly easier to fight, especially since we're level one. And I'm not trying to get my ass kicked this early in this let's play, if you know what I'm saying. So when we do come back together, we'll continue knocking out some more of the art abilities that Noah can learn. Hopefully we'll gain a level or two along the way and we will advance the story afterwards. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Rabbit, and this is my let's play of Legend of Lagaya. I will see you in just a moment, my friends.